In Chapter 6 of Lingua Latina by Hans Orberg, he introduces one of the most complicated topics, one of the most complicated ideas for my students, and those are active versus passive verbs. Let's take a look. So here we have a sentence, the servant carries the sack. Servant is the subject of the sentence, it's in the nominative case, what's he doing? He's carrying, verb, what's he carrying? He's carrying the sack, direct object, accusative case. This is an article adjective. The is an article adjective. We don't really need those. So we can leave those. This sentence is active. This is an active verb. Why is it active? It's active because this guy, the subject, is doing it. And the direct object is receiving the action. We can make this verb passive by simply moving the sack to the front of the sentence. So now we have the sack is carried or is being carried we could actually just leave it there the sack is being carried or the sack is carried but we'll add the servant the sack is being carried by the servant the sack is being carried by the servant okay subject of the sentence same process Sack, subject of the sentence, nominative case. Remember, we took the direct object, turned it into the subject. Is carried. Carried is the main verb. Is is a helping verb. And this is passive. Because, you know what? The subject is not performing the action. The subject is receiving the action. Someone else is carrying the sack. The sack is not carrying anything in this sentence. The sack is certainly not carrying itself. It is receiving the action, it is in the passive, it's in the passive mood, it's a passive verb. In fact, if you can add the word being, this is a good test. If you can add the word being into the verb phrase, then chances are it's passive. The sack is being carried by the servant. By preposition, by whom, the servant, object of the preposition, by the servant. This guy's doing it. That's an article adjective. This guy's doing it. He's performing the action. That means that he's the agent. Agent in Latin comes from, or agent in English comes from the Latin word, oops, agere, which means to do. So he is the doer of the sentence. He's the performer of the action. This is called the ablative of agent. It naturally goes into the ablative case. Okay. So let's erase that. Let's erase a lot of this. And let's uh, see if we can squeeze the Latin sentences in here. Okay, so the active, we'll do the active sentence first. The active sentence would be server, uh, servus, sorry, almost said servi, servus, the slave, portat, he carries, this is English word order, the slave carries sacum. Really, it should be, oops, the verb should be at the end. So, servus sacum portat. Servus sacum portat. Okay? So, we should move the verb to the end. Portat should be down here. Servus sacum portat. That's active. We have the subject of the sentence performing the action. We have a direct object. We have an active verb, servus sacum portat. Down here, the sacum, which is in the accusative case, has now become the nominative. So, sacus, sacus. Uh, let's go ahead and go with English, uh, Latin word order here. So, we'll go to by the servant next. A is the ablative or the word for by in Latin. If it's if a, a vowel is coming next, we would use ab. Since a consonant is coming next, we're using a. Sacus a, let's get rid of that arrow. Sacus a servo. It's in the ablative case. Sacus a servo. Okay, and then the same verb, portat. Now, this is going to sound ridiculous, but this is what I use to help my students remember this. In Lingua Latina, this is going to work all the way up to chapter 17. So from chapter 6 to chapter 17, I would say to my students, guys, who is able to make this sentence passive? And then I would answer my own question, and I would say, you are. 
you are. And when we add you are, my students love that. They think it's funny. Uh, when we add you are, then it makes this verb passive. So we have the sac, subject of the sentence, nominative case, a servo ob ablative, uh, ad ablative of agent, it's ablative case, and the sacus a servo portator, the sac is being carried. This is a passive verb. All right, we're actually going to do a bunch. This is going to be a long video. Amelia loves Julius, and she is loved by him. Another sentence from chapter 6 in Lingua Latina. Subject of the sentence, Amelia. Subject of the sentence, nominative case. She loves, verb. Is she performing the action? Is she the one that loves Julius? Yes. So this is an active verb. Whom does she love? She loves Julius. Direct object, accusative case. We actually have a complex sentence here, a compound sentence here, because we have two sentences joined by a conjunction. There's the conjunction. Subject of the second sentence, she, subject pronoun, it's in the nominative case. She what? She is loved. Loved is the main verb. Is is a helping verb. My marker seems to be dying. Is is a helping verb. Um, is this, could we, re, could we add the word being? She is being loved by Julius. Yeah, that would work. So it's actually a passive, uh, it's a passive verb. So we'll put passive underneath it. Who's loving Julia, or who's loving Amelia? Julius is. So this is the agent. By preposition, by whom, him, object of the preposition, ablative of agent, ablative case. Amelia loves Julius, and she is loved by him. All right. So, Amelia, Julium, Amat, Amelia, Julium, Amat, Amelia loves Julius, Et, Ia, probably shouldn't have added a comma, Romans didn't have any commas, Amelia, Julium, Amat, Et, Ia, okay, and that's she, now we have to have by him, Ab, Io, we used ab here, not ah, because the next word started with a vowel. Julia Amat, or Amelia Julium Amat et Ia, Ab, Io, and now we need the passive verb. So we're going to drop it right down here, and the verb is Amat, which means she loves. Then who is able to make it passive? You are. Okay. So, Amelia Julium Amat et Ab Ia, uh, et Ia Ab Io Amater. And truth is, we don't even really need that because we know from Amater that it's she is loved by him. Julia, uh, Amelia Julium Amat et Ab Io Amater. Okay? This is the passive verb. This is the active verb. All right. Lydia is delighted by the words of Metis. A couple of more characters from the book. Lydia, subject of the sentence, nominative case. She is delighted. Delighted is the main verb. Is is a helping verb. Is she delighting herself or is someone else delighting her or something else delighting her? It's something else. It's the words of Metis that are delighting her. So she is not the, uh, the agent. She's not the one performing the action. Something else is. So this is a passive verb. We could also add the word being. Lydia is being delighted, that works, by preposition, by what? Words, object of the preposition. Now this is what's delighting her, so this is the agent, this is the ablative of agent, so it goes in the ablative case. Uh, is, the is an article adjective, of is a preposition, you can barely see that, of metis, object of the preposition, anytime you see of, most of the time when you see of, I guess not any time, but most of the time when you see of, it's going into the genitive case. Okay, so let's translate this into Latin. Lydia. Now this is weird. Uh, if, if, if the ablative of agent is a person, then we need a pronoun. So if she's being delighted by Metis, it'd be a meadow. Oops, a meadow. If she's being delighted by Julius, it'd be a Julio. If she was being delighted by Amelia, it'd be a Amelia. 
But since she, she is being divided by some thing, then you don't need a preposition. When the ablative agent is a thing, then you don't need a preposition. So Lydia verbis, oops, verbis, Lydia, by the words, that's what that means, it's in the ablative case, Lydia, by the words of Metis, Medi, Lydia, by the words of Metis, Lydia verbi med, verbis medi, and then all we need is she is being delighted. So she delights is delectat. That's where we get the English word delectable. She delights is delectat. All we have to do to make that passive is add you are, and we have it. Lydia verbis medi delectator. Lydia verbis medi delectator. This is one sentence that really gives. Uh, an example of how concise the Latin language is. Up here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words, and down here in the Latin sentence we have four words. Lydia verbis medi delectator. Okay, another one. Julia is not seen by them. So in the story, Julia runs off, the little sister runs off into a garden to pick some flowers, and her brothers are calling her but they can't see her. Julia is not seen by them. Julia, subject of the sentence, nominative case. Julia is not seen. Seen is the main verb, not is an adverb, is is a helping verb. She is not seen by, preposition, oops. Need to order a new marker. She is not seen by, by whom, by them, object of the preposition. These guys are the ones doing it, or in this case, not doing it. But they're still grammatically the ablative of agent, so they're in the ablative case. Okay, in Latin, Julia ab iis, Julia ab iis by them, non, she is not seen. Now, videt is she sees. He, she, or it sees. Julia ab iis videt. Actually, we got to take a close look at this. Who's doing the seeing? It's them, the boys. That's plural. So we actually can't say videt. We have to make it plural. So we'll say vident, which means they see, because these are the guys who are looking, or, or they're looking for their little sister. So Julia, Julia ab iis non vident, but because uh, they are the ablative of agent and because Julia is not performing the action in this sentence, then vident has to be passive, so we change it to passive by adding you are, who is able to make this verb passive, you are. Julia ab iis non videnter. Julia ab iis non videnter. Julia ab iis non videnter. Julia is not seen by them. All right? And if Julia turned around and looked for her brother, she wouldn't see them because she's out of range. The, she can't see them. The boys, subject of the sentence, nominative case, they are not seen. Seen is the main verb. Are is a helping verb. Not is an adverb. The boys are not seen by preposition by whom? Her. Object of the preposition by her. Prepositional phrase. It's in the ablative case. And uh, that is an article adjective. So we can actually cross that out when we're translating into Latin. Anyway, the boys, pueri, the boys non... No, let's put the verb at the end. So let's say by her, the boys... Ab ia non ab ia is by her non vi det. Who's doing the seeing? She is, or in this case, she's not, but grammatically, she's doing the seeing. So we've got to make sure this verb stays singular because it is she that is not doing the seeing. So the pueri ab ia non videt, who is able to make it passive? You are. There we go. Now the sentence is passive. Pueri ab ia non videtur. Pueri ab ia non videtur. 
Gueri ab ia non vedeter. The boys are not seen by her. Alright, I think this is the last one. The sack is placed on the table. Sack, subject of the sentence, nominative case. The sack is placed. Placed is the main verb. Is is a helping verb. Hopefully you're starting to see the, the pattern. On preposition. On what? Table. Object of the preposition. On the table. Prepositional phrase. Ablative case. The article adjective. The article adjective. Okay. And... The sentence is the sack. Sacus is just one sack. So we'll take the word placed, which is ponit, and make it passive. Who's able to make it passive? You are. Sacus ponitur. Uh, back to bad English word order. I'm sorry. Actually, let me let me uh, get rid of that, and we're going to move it to the end. Sacus, and we're going to put it on the table. Sacus in minsa. I kind of would have thought that that would be in minsam since he's putting it onto the table. But Mr. Orberg says it's in minsa, and I'm going with what he says. Sacus in minsa. Uh, the sack is placed. So all we need is is placed. Poni tur. The sack is placed on the table. And in this sentence, we don't have an agent. It's actually, I know that the, the character doing it is Davis. So if we wanted to add an agent, we could say by Davis. The sack is placed on the table by Davis. Sacos in mensa podnitor. And then if we wanted to add it, we could. A davo. And this would all be in the ablative case. By is a preposition. Davis is the object of the preposition. He's the one doing it. So it's in the ablative case. Sacos en mensa ponitor a davo. Or just sacos en mensa ponitor. Sacos en mensa ponitor. Alright, so the sac is the subject of the sentence. Ponitor is the verb. And it is being placed on the table by someone else. So it's passive. Also, it ends with you are. Another helpful clue in Latin that is passive. Okay, I hope that helped. I hope that cleared up the difference between active and passive verbs. If you want to find more, find out more, or if you want to see more videos like this, or if I've just confused you and you need more help, contact me at DwayneThomas.com. Happy to create another video to clear up any confusion that I've caused.